All right, so we're gonna go over how to use a charcoal ground in preparing for your drapery assignment. Just so it would fit in the video screen, we're gonna pretend that this is your 24 inch side and that's your 18 inch side. So you're gonna be making your drawing pad vertical and your measurements, and I'm just drawing them really fast. You're gonna do your 12 inch by nine inch up here. And then your little thumbnail is gonna be four inches by three inches, okay? So you're gonna be drawing your drapery over here. And I start by drawing the pins that go at the top and imagining them being like clock hands. These little points that carry all the weight are called the hubs. And then you'll start to draw where the folds and keep everything really angular. And then you can kind of lightly do a graphite study of where all the parts of light logic are. Just really quickly blocking it in for your thumbnail. Okay, so now I'm ready to take this and scale it up bigger. And to do that, I'm gonna prepare the box first. And again, yours will be nicely measured with a ruler. You're gonna take your time. Um, if you have a compressed charcoal stick, go ahead with that. But I'm just gonna use the side, not the tip, but the side of the charcoal pencil. And I'm gonna rub in different directions. Make sure there's no texture under your, like a wood grain or anything below that would leave any kind of um, mark makings. Remember our sketchbook assignment of frotage? Well, that's what would happen. You would see anything underneath, like a textured tablecloth or something that would come through. Okay, so I've applied a good amount on charcoal. My goal here is to get like a mid-tone or a number five on the value scale so that all my mid-grays are done. Okay, I feel happy with that. And now I'm gonna take a paper towel. And yes, it's gonna make a yucky noise, but that is okay. Wear your headphones if you don't like it. And you can always clean up the sides with the eraser. Okay. So then I'm gonna take the charcoal pencil and draw the sketch of the drapery. Let's see. And I'm gonna go lightly, so. Okay, so I have the basic outline here. Now I'm gonna to start to think about how to pull out the lights. So instead of drawing with my pencils, I'm gonna be drawing with my erasers, the kneaded eraser for lighter ones, and for more harsh, very bright brights, my magic rub. So the kneaded eraser is almost 100% rubber. So you're gonna get it going by kneading it like dough, hence the name kneaded eraser. And you can shape it into, you know, fine lines or points. But for this, I'm gonna stretch it over my index finger, like this. And it'll be like finger painting. So 
but I want to remember all of my parts of light logic. So I'm doing all of my areas of general light. And then I can go back in. Do my core shadows. cast shadows on the wall. And I can take my blending stump to help kind of blend out any of the hard edges here. So this is a little bit more like painting and you're gonna really just be mushing around the charcoal, just like paint would be applied. It's very much an addition subtraction process. Here's some of that reflected light here. And you would just keep building up over and over and adding more detail. You can get some of the wrinkles in by moving your stump a little bit more. I'm going to pop this part a little bit more so it comes out a little bit more. And so on and so on. All right, so that's how you do a charcoal ground and draw your drapery. Please see the photograph that I've provided for you so you don't have to worry about doing your own uh, still life. And uh, email me if you have any questions. Okay, thanks.